share the warm welcome. Sorry uh, to my fellow Alaskans that we have to, to deal with the heat, but this is Washington, D.C. in the summer. I would suggest we're just getting warmed up for Panama, so just kind of get used to, to the temperatures here. Uh, upstairs, we are engaged in, in a very lengthy series uh, of amendments on the Farm Bill. Well, coming from a state like Alaska, being born and raised in a state where we really don't have much in what would be considered that traditional agriculture, uh, when my colleagues have said, "Well, what, what do you, what do you, what do you grow up there? I don't know, we grow big cabbages. Um, what do you harvest? We harvest our trees. We harvest our fish. And for our native peoples, for our, our indigenous peoples, we have the whale." The whale that has sustained uh, a people, a culture, since, since time immemorial. And as I was walking in and looking at some of the posters, I think it's important to recognize that to, to the Inupiaq, to Alaska's natives, uh, whaling is not just about that, that, that physical sustenance, having something to eat. It is, it defines who they are as a people. It is, a, there is a spiritual aspect to, to whaling. There is, uh, it is, it is all encompassing. And it's so important to recognize this, that in a place that is isolated geographically from the rest of the world, uh, isolated within our state, our communities are not accessible by road. We, we face some of the highest cost of living that you will find anywhere in, in the country. Uh, our energy costs will exceed any place else that, that, uh, that you, you will find here in the United States. But what, what keeps the Alaskan Native community strong, what binds them through all of the uh, the challenges that they face is an identity to, to the land, an identity to the, the ocean, and I, an identity for, for so many to the whale. So as, as we gather uh, this afternoon to discuss the importance of Alaska Native uh, subsistence whaling in our northernmost uh, communities, I hope that you take the opportunity to visit with some of the Alaskans that are here. Uh, George uh, Noonwak is going to be speaking for the Alaska Eskimo Whaling uh, Commission, but, but we've got some other friends that are here, Harry, Flora, Merlin, Jana, Johnny, Marietta. They can speak with first-hand experience about truly all that, uh, all that goes into the, 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 the focus, the, the, the sense of of, of identity with the whales, so take the time to visit with them uh, if you if you will do so today. Uh, I also recognize that this next week, I think, is the the first of the the many Nalakataks, which is the whaling festival. It's the celebration of sharing that comes with the whaling community, when all aspects of that whale are shared with not only those in the village, but in the surrounding villages as well. A beautiful, beautiful tradition. Um, I was hoping to be up in Barrow next weekend. I'm not going to be able to make it this year, but next year it's on my radar screen. I'm delighted to be able to be here with you. I'm going to be jumping in and out. I'm going to go back up for a vote, and I'll come back to, to mingle with you. But thank you for the opportunity to introduce some of Alaska's uh, most beautiful people. Uh, our friends that are here with AWC. Thank you so very much.